What's up you guys, it's Secret L here today, and in today's video, it is going to be quite different from the videos, oh, hair sticking up, from the videos that I normally do, because normally, <sighs> sorry, um, I do videos about makeup, beauty, all that kind of stuff, and today's video, because if you guys don't know this already, I am an avid reader. I love to read. It has been something I've loved to do since the time I was actually really young because I learned how to read at a very young age and I've just always loved to read. So I've also always loved to write. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be counting down a ton of my favorite books of all time that I have in my collection of books because I have quite the collection that I have to go through on a regular basis. Um, so I'm just going to be going through my favorite books, explaining a bit about what they are. Um, but I'm not going to be completely going into all detail about it because I don't want this video to be super long, but it is probably going to be a pretty long one because just look at how many books I have. That's all the books that I have to share with you guys today. So I'm not sure if I'm going to share all of them because some of them have not been my absolute favorites, but I just want to have like this big diversity of a ton of different books for you guys to read. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. Um, so the first book is called The Giver. This is a Newbery winner. Um, it is by Lois Lowry um, and it is set in the future. So this book is about a boy named Jonas, and in his community they have their elders, and they pick their jobs for them at age 12. Um, and so you can either be like a nurse, or you can be, um, you can take care of the old the elderly in their community so there's just a ton of different jobs and he doesn't really fit one of those jobs but he does fit the job of the receiver of memory so he goes to this man called the giver and he gives him these memories and basically it just tells the story of his journey and then there's kind of like a really great ending within the last 50 or so pages of the book so this book is absolutely amazing I devoured it in probably like one or two days I would think um, because it was just so good it's a quick read I believe it's only like 200 and in this book it's 180 pages because it's like the words are kind of tightly packed and they're smaller but in most like I've seen ones that are 225 because they're like taller but this one is 180 I would this is just amazing so yeah the next book is something that I don't think many people have heard of because it's quite a and like it's not really popular it's not really out there <sighs> I should stop yawning. I'm sorry about that. But this is absolutely a great book. It is called Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman, who wrote Coraline. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know what that book is. But this is Fortunately the Milk, um, and it is about the traveling of this milk right here. Basically, it's like a huge adventure for this guy right here, he meets aliens, he goes on this big adventure, and it's such a quick read, like, as you can tell, like, it has illustrations in there, so you can read this in probably, like, an hour to two hours or something, because it is so quick. I loved this, I just thought it was such a delightful, like, just kind of, uh, not, it was very, um, light it was a light read I didn't really have to think that much it was just really nice so my next book is also and like I said before I am definitely trying to get a lot of um diversity in my books because I want people to get to experience different genres so this book is called everyone's an alien when you're an alien too and it's spelled wrong as you can tell but that is the whole point of this book and it is by john Minnie's son but his real name is jonathan son and it is a cartoon with some little um dialogue in there and it is about an alien and he travels to earth 
and he's trying to find himself on Earth. He's not really accepted by the other aliens. And it's sort of a poetic way of explaining what it feels like to be isolated and not fitting in, I guess. And he's kind of, he's meeting all of these different creatures down on Earth and he's just experiencing it. And it's just a great book and it is supposed to be spelled incorrectly so it's kind of hard to read it. Um, but obviously he's an alien so he doesn't know how to spell things but it's very, like I said, like this one, it's very easy, like a quick read. Um, I read this again, one sitting, I believe. Um, it's just amazing. I thought it was so cute. And it is a book that I'm definitely going to be keeping for my whole life because I just think it's great. So next up on my list is this book called Remarkable by Liggy K. Foley. And it is about... A girl named Jane and she lives in a town um, where everything is just magical and everybody is so interesting there um, but she is as you can tell she's very unremarkable um, and or at least so she thinks um, there's a dragon in here it's very very fantasy um, and it just takes you into that. So I'm not really going to go into depth about this because it's um, it's quite interesting without knowing. Oh my gosh, my hair is just sticking up so much. Um, just ignore, just ignore that. Um, and it's just such a good book. My mom got this for me for my birthday, and then we read it together. Like, I would read to her, she would read to me. But, and then I read it by myself. So, it's just, uh, whew, sorry, a great book. Next up is quite a popular book. I think many people have read it, but if you haven't, you absolutely should. It is the One and Only Ivan. It was a book that was on my reading team list last year. I did read, I did read, sorry about that, all 40 books on the reading team list, which I was very happy about. And this was one of them. So if you don't know what this book is, um, I will tell you. But if you do, just skip ahead until I put it down. So this book is about a gorilla who lives in a mall zoo named Ivan and he his best friends with the elephant that lives beside him. Um, also, he meets this new baby elephant that comes in and it just tells the story of him being locked up in this mall zoo and how he just desperately wants to escape and he wants Ruby, who is the baby elephant, to escape as well. So that is what this book is about. It is so touching. I cried reading it. It was just amazing. I could not understand like why anybody would want to entrap them. But it has a really happy ending so you guys will like it. All right so next up on the list is a book by an author who many people have quite popularized. This book is a, called The Lost Hero and it is the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Rorden. Um, it is very good and I would suggest reading the um the Percy Jackson series but prior to reading this because there's a few things that will be explained if you don't like it's not mandatory that you do this since it's the beginning of its own series but I would just suggest that this book is again it is a fantasy it is a page turner you are on the edge of your seat the whole time there's action adventure there's fighting there's magical creatures magical gods um it is really long that's the one thing i would say about it but i did read it in i think two days because i was so happy about it it is 553 pages which is quite a long read but it's worth it uh uh I'm sorry. It is just a great book. I loved all the characters in it. So there's Piper, Leo, and Jason. I completely forgot what his name was. But Jason has lost his memory. Um, and Piper and Leo. Leo is the son of um, Hypostius. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And he's the god of, you know, like, um, metalwork, like, 
he's like a blacksmith kind of god, I guess you could say. It's been a while since I've read this, but I kind of get the gist of it. And it's basically they go on an adventure to f try and find Percy Jackson, who has gone missing from the camp Half-Blood. So that is what this book is about. And it also is a bit of trying to save the goddess Hera. She's the queen of the gods. So this is just a really great read. I think you guys should try it out. So next up, this is... um quite a popular book definitely and it is the hunger games i just couldn't not include this book because it is possibly one of the best books ever <laughs> um it is if you don't know what it is i don't know where you have been for the past few years when this is released it was released in 2008 so i don't know where you've been the past 10 years but it is made into a movie series, and but the book is much better than the movie, as usual, I mean, you know. But the book does, and the movie are quite similar. This is about a teenager named Katniss Everdeen, um, and she lives in Pen Am, and it is a country, it is like North America in the future, so they have districts, and it goes from 1 to 12, um, and they have quite a few different jobs for each district. She lives in District 12, which is the worst. So one being the best and 12 being the worst, she lives in the worst. And every year they have the Hunger Games and it is the, a competition. Wait, is it every year? I'm not sure. Don't quote me on the fact that it's one year. But she, they have to compete and they draw a name of a boy and a name of a girl and they have to compete in this competition known as the Hunger Games for survival. And whoever wins is crowned the victor and they get, they're like a celebrity. So nobody from District 12 besides one person has ever won. So she is coached and she goes through like this camp and then she competes in the Hunger Games and it's just a fight for survival. She, it's well written, I would say. It's one of, it's very, very well written and it's just a great book in general. So the next book that I have here is a different genre than any of these books and it is kind of a religious kind of read almost. It is called The Inquisitor's Tale or The Three Magical Children and Their Holy Dog and it is written by Adam Gidwitz. Gidwitz, it's kind of an interesting last name. Um, but anyways, so this is about three children and they go on an adventure with a huge giant and they are trying to save the country from burning these holy books. So it is an adventure again, but it kind of has a touch of religion and it's a horse kind of historical, like it's set back in the day. I think it's in the 1200s, I believe. 1242. And it's basically, it's set like these people at an inn are telling the story. Like people just keep telling the story. People just keep saying, oh, I know more of the story. It's one of those books where they just tell the story. And it also has quite a few different illustrations. If you can tell, it has quite a few. I kind of went through that too fast, but it does. Um, and it's just a great book. So I would recommend reading this because it's a different book. It's not something that you would have read before. And it's quite interesting to read. Like, I was having a hard time putting it down. The next book that I have on my list is a book that I absolutely love. Don't want to know why there's still a bookmark in it. But it is called Dumplin', um, and it is about this girl named Willa Dean, and she, like, they call her Will in the book, and her mom calls her Dumplin'. I just wanted to kind of read the back because it's been a little bit. Um, but it, she works, she's uh, quite overweight, um, and she's very, like, shameless about it. Like, she's, um, she doesn't care what people think of her. She just kind of um, it embraces herself. And she, her mother was the winner of the Miss Teen Blue Bonnet competition, which is like a pageant. And so her mom wants her to win it. And she works at this fast food restaurant called Harpies. And she meets this jock named Bo. And 
he actually she's always had a crush on him and she's always dreamed about him but they meet there and she realizes that he has a crush on her when it, she kisses him and it's just kind of like a romance it's really really cute their romance together and it's also about her friendship with her best friend um and it's just, it's a really amazing read because it touches on, like, self, like, embracing yourself and who you are and not trying to change yourself. So, that is, it's the cutest book ever. I love it. Um, so I, I'm not sure if this would be considered, like, really a book. It's almost like an anthology of some, I'm going to put this book back shelf where it was um it's almost like an anthology of quite a few different books but it is called fairy tales from around the world by andrew lang you can find this in barnes and noble they have like a whole section of classic books and you can find this it's quite expensive just letting you know that now um and it is about fairy tales um it tells the story of quite a few different fairy tales there's like tons of them oh and it's not your typical fairy tales and they they're very interesting they're very well written and they have a bunch of illustrations in it as you can tell it's very long I will but I thoroughly enjoyed this actually my aunt her boyfriend got her this book and I was like oh my gosh I have to buy it because I was obsessed with it and I just that was dying to read it so it's amazing I loved just indulging in the different books like the different fairy tales because most of them you've never heard of before like they're not your typical like Cinderella Sleeping Beauty although I do think that they may have some of your classics but this is just amazing I thought it was just very well written descriptive so interesting and I really liked it Although I didn't read the whole thing, I just read it in, you know, sections. This book, next book, is absolutely one of the best James Patterson books, I think, that is on the market. Although I do have another one that I'm going to share with you guys. But this is called Homeroom Diaries by James Patterson, as I said. Um, and also Lisa Papadimitrio, Papadimitro. Not sure, sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. But basically, and as you can tell, there's a little, there's a girl on it. I forget what her name is because it's been like a few years. Um, let me just uh, see. Coop. You know what? I don't remember what her name is. I'm sorry. But it is about this high school girl who has a mental illness. And it's about her adventures through high school. I don't really want to go into depth this because I just think you should read it. You just should read it. My mom purchased this for me and I couldn't put it down. It was amazing. I read, I've read. i read this multiple times, although I don't remember most of the details. But I do remember that she struggles with a mental illness. And it's about her ups and downs in her life and her trying to survive high school along with her best friends. So this is an amazing book. Read it, please, because it is just, just, it's amazing. This next one I got as a gift because if you don't know this already, I'm involved in much musical theater. Um, and this book was a gift to me from the woman who played Ursula at my show. Um, I played Jetsam and she played Ursula. So she gave me this book and it's called Four Unfortunate Souls. Um, and as you can tell, it has like a little note for me in here, but it is about, um, it is a sort of a tale of Ursula and then these, the three fates. So this book is, uh, quite a fantasy. It talks about romance a bit and it's a really quick read. So I just, I couldn't put this, there, there's so many books in here that I couldn't put down, but this one is one of those books that I absolutely could put down. Like, I just, like, I just wanted to find out what the heck was going to happen. <sighs> Sorry. Um, and so this was just cute. I don't want to really go into detail about it just because I want you guys to pick it up. Um, I'm not really sure how much it is. Oh, it's $18. So, um, it's a bit expensive for the book, but... 
if you are willing to spend money to get a good book that you won't be able to put down, be sure to get this one. All right, so I'm going to try and switch up the genres here. I think I have a few different genres, so we're going to try. Um, this first one is called Girl in Pieces by Catherine, Kathleen Glasgow. Um, and it is about a girl named Charlotte who has, um, she has cut herself because she has lost so much in her life. But it just tells the story of her life and how she's just trying to cope with the fact that she's depressed all the time and she just has this illness. She's been in um, mental hospital and it just tells her story. It's kind of sad. Like I was very upset after um, reading it, but I think you guys should read it just because I learned a lot about things that I haven't really been educated on. I haven't really learned about these kind of things. And it's a thing that happens every day in the real world. So I just, it was a very educational book, but it was kind of heart-wrenching. So I, would, I wouldn't I would recommend reading this like if you're looking for something that's gonna keep you interested. I mean, it, it wasn't that it didn't keep me interested, just if you're looking for a book that's going to really um, be like a page turner or something like a fantasy, like, oh. Um, that I would just recommend this if you want to have like, you know, like kind of a educational, like just really sad. I would, I did like this book, but I would just not recommend it if you're looking for something a little bit more in depth, like with fantasy and things like that. So the next book on my list is another James Patterson book. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of this, but it is called Maximum Ride, The Angel Experiment. And it is about a girl named Maximum Ride, and she has her siblings, and they are mutants. So they grew up in a hospital, and they escaped. But they're being chased by these, um, creatures. They're like werewolves, and they're just like, ooh, like so strong. And so she has her siblings and her youngest sibling who she's quite attached to goes missing like she's kidnapped by the werewolves and I have this whole series but this one is oh, very good um get kidnapped and taken to this place so that she can be tested on um and they have to go and save her, her name is Angel the littlest the youngest one and one of the boys is blind. It's just kind of their story of their adventure. And she is the best female character. Like, one of the best female characters that I've ever read. I could just, like, she was amazing. She was so strong and so brave. And she was just, like, a mother figure to all of her siblings. Read this. You should. Three more books on the list. I'm sorry that this is turning into being the longest review of ever of all time. All right, so this next book is called. Oh, oh I am sorry about that. Oh, whoa, um, I just like knocked the camera. Um, so this is called When, and it is about a girl named Maddie, and she can see when people will die simple as that um she her dad has passed away she he passed away um he was in the fbi i oh wait she, i don't know i'm not even sure like i think he was maybe trying to say he's he was trying to save his best friend from a certain death because they were being like they were terrorists or something i'm sorry i can't really remember but i all i know is her dad passed away her mom is an alcoholic and she has a best friend and she gets caught up in a murder investigation and they think that she has something to do with it so basically it dives into the fact that these two fbi agents can see like that they think that she has been part in this murder because she told the woman that her son's death date she told this woman that her daughter would live a long healthy life although she had cancer and that her son would die in the next one or two days and she didn't believe her and she immediately left but sometimes telling people's death dates get gets her into trouble this is a page turner it's a very interesting book by victoria Laurie. i forgot to say that but 
it's just a great book and I would recommend it. All right, we got two more books on the list. So we got this one right here. The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Um, she also wrote Everything Everything, which is one of my favorite books of all time, although um, this one is quite amazing. So this book is about two people, Natalia and um, Daniel. Daniel is an Asian American and Natalia, oh wait, no, is it Natasha? Oh my, Natasha, I'm sorry, not Natalia. I am like, I'm failing, I am failing. My hair is messed up, I keep yawning, you know what, just ignore, just ignore me. Um, and Natasha, she is, they are trying to get her to move to Jamaica because that's where her family came from. And Daniel is being overshadowed by his older brother. The two meet and it's just kind of their story together. So I'm not going to give away too much of the book, but I would just recommend reading this because it's, it's, it's really good. All right. This last book is a book that I got from the library. So I read it, um, it is called Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch, and it is about this girl named Lena, and her mother has passed away of pancreatic cancer, and so she goes to live with her father, Howard, um, and it is in Italy, and she meets this boy named Ren, and <gasps> you guys already know a love story it's just it's so cute I love it it's set in Italy so there's so much Italian culture mixed in there and just her feelings with Ren and her grieving over her mother it's it's a great book and I would recommend reading it so much because it is amazing all right guys so that wraps up my book favorites I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because making it was amazing um, I really enjoyed making these this video because I love to read and I love to share my book ideas with you guys. I'm sorry that this is going on 27 minutes, like no, it's like almost 28 minutes. So I'm really sorry about that, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below, either over here or over here. I think it's over there, actually. But, um, also, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you liked the video. Also, what are your favorite book picks? Like, what kind of authors do you like? Series, books, because I'm always looking for new recommendations. Alright, guys, so that's my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!